Hey, Monte. Um, Malone just said the mood in the locker room. Can you hear me? Uh, a little bit. Sorry. I mean, there's a lot of things happening around here. Uh, Malone just said the mood in the locker room was frustrated. Um, how, how, what do you feel like you guys need to do to, to bounce back, knowing that you're down 3-0, knowing that you're up against history, uh, and obviously a team that has all the momentum? How do you guys withstand that? Um, I think we just got to put a whole full game uh, effort together. Um, I feel like, you know, it's like a minute 58 left in the third. They closed on a run and then start the fourth, they closed where well, they open on a run. So I think if we put, you know, strings, some stops together, you know, this team is picking us apart. Um, we got to play with more urgency, more effort to fly around. You know, they got great guys that, you know, start in a role and step up and make big shots. Um, you know, and it's draining at times, keep taking the ball out the net. So we just got to, I think, just collectively just play better. Um, but, shit, man, we played hard tonight. We was right there. Um, we was, we gave it everything we had. They just stepped up and made runs when they had to. Eddie Wingy, Altitude Sports. Hey, Monte, coach just shared that he texted you. I don't know if it was this morning or last night, but saying which Monte is going to show up for this mm -hmm. game. Can you just walk us through that interaction from your perspective and how that got you going for a big night tonight? Yeah, uh, he texted me right you know, right after my nap around probably like 5 o'clock before I came to the gym. He just, you know, he just said in our wins, I average around like 17 and a half, six assists, something like that. Um, you know, when I'm hooping, it helps everybody. Um, you know, in our losses, I think I was, he said about six point some or some numbers like that but and then you know he just tested me he asked me what Monte uh Morris is going to show up to ball arena and you know I ain't sending a big paragraph back I just sent back you know hers you with the emoji um you know I just wanted to go out and lay it out all on the all on the floor I mean I know I started games one and two slow but they wasn't doing nothing you know, to really slow me down. I was just missing, um, missing a lot of shots that I normally make, but I stayed with it and just wanted to be aggressive. Coach said he likes when I'm like that, keep shooting. And he was happy for me tonight that I just came out and played aggressive. So that text definitely helped me, but um, going forward, we all got to play in that, you know, mode, you know, include myself. Brandon Cristal, KOA Denver. Yeah, Monte, uh, Nicole was asked what he said to you guys in the locker room, and he said he told you all it was his bad and that he really needed to be better. Just a third time in NBA history, somebody's gone 30, 20, and 10. So do you agree? Did he need to be better? Or, or uh, is there a way to, I guess, understand that sentiment? But, you know, Man, maybe not put it on Joe. He's an MVP. He does his job every night. Um, he's playing at a high level, man. He, he just – that just shows you, you know, how, you know, how good he is and – what he expects from himself, man. Anybody with these numbers that, uh, you know, uh, say they had a great game, you know, I feel like could nobody tell him nothing. I feel like he played phenomenal. He played aggressively, you know, and he was in the locker room saying, man, if I make those little bunnies, you know, we win and stuff. But if a guy giving you 30, 20, and 10, we got to, as a whole, collectively help him and step up. You know, we asking a lot from him, you know, and he's been carrying us, but, you know, include myself, we got to do it consistently. Um, and help him, man. Shit, he's doing everything you you asked for from the MVP. He's showing up every night, giving it his all. Ashley Neville, Mile High Sports. Hey, Monte, good to see you. Um, you know, a guy like you has a really high cue for the game at the point guard position. Seeing what Chris Paul has been able to do in this series, 33 assists, three turnovers. What can you say about his game and um, – I mean, what can you guys even try to do to to stop him in, in, in the next game? Man, we just got to make it more difficult on him. He's a Hall of Fame point guard, um, top five easily, you know, still playing in the NBA. You know, he's a good friend of mine. You know, I, knew, I know how he approached the game. Um, I know what he liked to get to and things like that, but he got a great team, man. He, he get those guys going. He's making shots at a high level and getting everybody involved. Um, CP is a tough cover for anybody, but, you know, we have to just stick to our game plan and try to execute it, you know, best as we can. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's 3-0.
you got to all lay it out there. We ain't got nothing to lose. Um, but we definitely not trying to get swept going into the offseason on our home court. Uh, that feeling wouldn't sit well with me. So that's the point. Sean Keeler, Denver Post. So you guys are never going to make excuses personally uh, or as a team, but is there – any effect of what the last eight weeks and all you guys have had to fight has had on the mentality and on the legs when you get to this point and all that you've overcome? I'm not sure. Um, it is what it is. We have what we have. You know, we're not going to wake up tomorrow and it's all going to be perfect and we got all the guys back. So we can't make excuses. Nobody feels sorry for us. This is what we have. And, you know, we've been successful. You know, we're guys out the lineup, we're guys in the lineup. So, just because we start losing, there's no need to say, oh, we don't have this guy, this guy, this guy. We just got to do what we've been doing because when we was winning, you know, everything was cool. So we got to be able to take it if we dish it out also. So, no, nah, I don't feel like I don't want nobody to be sorry for us. We got to figure it out. Finney Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey, Monte, I think you, you said earlier that you felt like you guys kind of left it all out there. I guess how frustrating is it to to have that be the case and still, you know, trail a game by, by 10 for, for most of the action? Or, or is it a situation where you just feel like if you guys make open shots that, that this is a, a different outcome? Yeah, I mean, we played our heart out. If we, you know, we got some good looks, man. We just didn't seem to knock them down. We haven't knocked them down in three games. Um yeah, man, it's a make or miss league, but they're making their shots when they need to. Um, credit to them. Um, they're making big plays. You know, I'm not sitting up here, you know, just trying to make it seem like they just winning just to be winning. But they're a good team over there. They coach very well. Um, but we just got to bring it. You know, they're a team we beat before. Um, so it's not like they gave us issues a lot in the past. So I feel like they outplanned us also. We just getting out hustled and things. You know, we can go down the line and do all the numbers and stuff, but, you know, it, it got to come down to who wanted more heart and desire, man. We down 3-0, so um, the urgency has to be there. Or, you know, Sunday could be our last game. Joel Rush, Forbes. Hey, Monte. Uh, <clears throat> along with some other guys, it seems like Mike has been struggling a little bit to find his shot. Uh, what do you say to a younger player like that who's kind of stepped into a larger role that he was expected to be in? Mike, you know, Mike, a guy who comes to the gym every day, get up shots. Um, he always think next shot mentality. So, you know, he's a guy you don't really got to say keep your head up to. Um, you know, he trusts and believes in himself and his craft because he worked very hard, talented kid. And he can make shots at a high level. So him, um, you know, thinking or you guys thinking, um, you know, he's struggled with his shot a little bit. I don't think so. Uh, he'll find it. Um, you know, the best shooter on, on the team. So um, I feel like he'll be good. All right, Monte, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Mike Singer from the Denver Post. Hey, Monte, you guys are down about 15 or 20 with, I think, four or five minutes left in the game. Nicole is still fighting his heart out and doing everything he can. He picks up the tech. Um, what did tonight show you, in addition to just the raw numbers, what did tonight show you or reveal about how invested he is and, and how much he cares just about competing? Yeah, I mean, you don't, you can't, you know, you can't buy heart. You can't teach, you know, toughness and things like that. You just got to have it in you. And he definitely got that, um, you know, him going out there doing that and still fighting to the end, you know, that just shows you the MVP of the league, you know, not giving up still believe so we all should follow suit you know it shouldn't be you know rocket science we gotta want it we can't I feel like we give in once we face a little adversity you know we have to keep it going and keep pushing and keep trying because we're a talented group I believe and we've shown it on many occasions all right that'll do it thank you